So uh, this is part two of the tutorial for uh, completing Word project number one. And where we got to in part number one is uh, downloading the files and especially doing the save as, making sure that the file has the same name, the start file has the same name as what I downloaded it with, only with underscore two. Remember, uh, if you don't do that, it will not uh, let you upload. Going back to the instructions, the next instruction, what I like to do, by the way, is when I'm done with an instruction is to highlight it and to mark it with a, like a yellow highlighter, like it, just for me, so I know it's done. Um, and then uh, the next one is, with that file still open, ensure that your first and last name are displayed in the footer. This is another way for them to make sure that it's your own individual work, that students are not just, you know, uh, sharing uh, projects, um, that it's yours, uh, because if I was a student, here it is. You see when I scroll down, this is called a footer. It's grayed out because it's not, you know, available for you to edit. And it has my name on it, the way I'm registered in um, MindTap. And between the name of the file and the footer, it'll know that it's me. So going back to the instructions. Again, um, you see me switching here on Mac under the window. On Windows, it's going to be down here, just uh, hovering over uh, the Word icon. It'll show you two windows with the two um, open documents. You can see that also, by the way, in the training. Uh, so I have made sure that this is correct and make sure you read what they say if the footer does not display your name delete the file download a fresh copy don't waste your time because it won't uh, accept it when you're done and finally we can start the project steps themselves they always have like a cover story around it it's basically all the projects are documents that are kind of half done and they want you to change a few things about them complete them polish them and so on so supposedly you're the member of a human resources department and this insurance company Company, and you're creating a flyer and here comes the first actual thing to do begin by changing the orientation to portrait so the page is no longer uh, so the page is longer than it is wide so right now it is portrait uh, 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 landscape and they want to change it to portrait I'm changing back to the document and that is done under the layout tab I click layout and right here the second button is orientation portrait save now I can save either if it's uh, Windows control s if it's Mac command s or if I want to use the menu it's file save or there's an icon here that looks like an old floppy disk save uh, I would recommend saving every every step of the way. There's no such thing as saving too much, only regretting saving too little. Going back to the instructions. It seems like I have completed step number one. Step number two, by the way, there are, in for this assignment, there are 16 steps. Um, change the document margins to narrow. That is done. Uh, very close to where we've done the previous step. So under layout, under the layouts tab, there's a command, there's a, a, a button called margins, and I click it, a menu drops, and they got all kinds of settings. One of them is called narrow, that's the one they want. Narrow. Save. In all those assignments, it's really important to follow what they want to the letter because um, there's no, you know, opinion here. There's no flexibility. Either you completed the assignment or you don't exactly the way they want it to. Um, let's go back to the instructions. And I will mark this as done. Step number two. Number three, some of the steps have sub steps like A and B. Here's one of them. Format the heading paragraph Health, heading paragraph, health and wellness at Crest Insurance as follows to make it stand out. And they want us to do two things. So what I would first do is go, okay, where is this thing? Here it is. It's 
this so i will highlight my habit by the way is to click hold and drag and highlight things from the back from the end backwards i can also highlight from the beginning forward doesn't matter it does highlight a little uh space after that that's fine uh and i know it's funny that they call it a paragraph but every time there's a line break technically it's a paragraph but it is a heading going back to the instructions what do they want me to do with this heading um, apply the text effect fill black text color one shadow now this is a lot to remember so first of all where do i find uh text colors uh, uh text effects it's in the home tab and we'll go there in a second uh but it's easier to find it once it, to remember that once i do find this effect it's going to be on the first column first row in other words it's the first effect out of that typography gallery so where do i find that i go back to the document itself back to the home tab and the text effects it's not a text color or a highlight it's text effects are found right here if i hover over an icon it tells me what it is i click and just like they said it's the first one on the first row first column when i hover over it it tells me its name fill black text color one shadow click and as you can see it changed a bunch of things you know changed the font to be a little more uh, bold and so on save so that was step 3a they can mark that as done and then they want step 3b which is to shade the heading using aqua accent i can never remember this these are you know very complicated names much easier for me to remember that it's the eighth column third row in the themes colors palette shading color so where do i find shading again i go back it's still selected um, and i can find shading right here when i roll over this this is going to be in a different group the icon looks like um like a paint bucket don't confuse shading with highlighting they don't want you to highlight the text they want you to shade the whole paragraph so again i always forget what color they want me to use let's read again eighth column third row okay click to open the gallery um eighth column one two three four five six seven eight third row one two three aqua accent four lighter sixty percent click notice how when i click somewhere else it highlighted the whole width of the paragraph so now i can go back to the instructions and mark this as done and i'll save this one as well step number four in the paragraph beginning crest insurance offer uh blah 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 delete the unnecessary sentence that says all you need to do is sign up and that interests you so it starts with all and ends with you and they want me to delete it so here it is i highlight that sentence make sure that it's only what they want me to delete and on the keyboard i hit the delete button backspace same thing and make sure that there's no extra space here good save back to the instructions that was step number four step number five apply the simple frame black picture style to the picture of the healthy foods so it uh, coordinates with the rest of the flyer so they have a picture here and they want simple frame black so right now it has no frame or anything i one click on the picture should open a tab or at least give me access to a tab called picture format i click it and there's all kinds of styles there's like a gallery of styles on the mac to open the gallery there's a button here at the bottom center if this was window this same like open button would be at the bottom uh 
at the bottom right but in any case i'm opening this and there's all kinds of styles that can apply in this case they're not telling me what column or row so i have to like roll over them to find uh what looks like a simple frame black does this look like simple frame black no it's a simple frame white so this one not mo not moderate this one not thick let's see where's the simple frame black it's got to be one of oh, simple frame black just found it make sure that even there though there are much prettier ones choose the one they ask you to do because it you know the the assignments are about following instructions click and it gave it the this thick frame with a tiny little bit of a drop shadow around it and so on save cool next step back to the instructions that was step number five let's do one more uh step before we go to another uh, to, to, uh before we break this to another video to call attention to the heading paragraph five steps to a heart healthy diet format the paragraph as follows left align the paragraph so the paragraph is called five uh, steps so here it is five steps I'm, I'm highlighting it making sure i'm not highlighting anything else and in the home tab is the alignment by the way if this happens you just double click and it opens again and here's the alignment left align um the next thing they want me to do here So left align is done, is to change the font to Corbel headings. So while it's selected, I'll make sure it's selected. Fonts are right here. And Corbel headings should be one of the first available ones. And here it is. Just make sure there are two Corbels, one for headings, one for body. They want Corbel for headings and it changed the font. Save. The next step, so we've done B. The next step is to change the font size to 16. So again, while it's still selected, font size 16. Everything it has to do with fonts is usually in the home tab. And last thing they want me to do in step number six so i changed it to 16 points is to change the font color to aqua accent four eighth column first row in the colors palette so the colors for the fonts are right here the gallery is right here eighth column one two three four five six seven eight click that's the color they want save here and go back to my instructions and step number six is done let's do step number seven before we cut to you know another part of the video uh, that way we're pretty much halfway done uh, now they want me to use the Format Painter to apply the same formatting to the paragraphs Nutrition and Fitness. Look at this. There are two more uh, headings. Here it is, Nutrition and Fitness. And they want them to look the same as this. So instead of doing all those four steps again, there's a great tool called the Format Painter. And it's pretty much like a copy-paste. And instead of copy-pasting text, it copy-pastes um, the look. So I will highlight what I want to copy from. And I'm going to go to this tool called the Format Painter. It's in the Home tab, very close to the left. Format Painter. And then all I have to do is click, hold, and pretty much brush over 
what I want to give this to. See, and it applied the whole, um, everything, the font, the size, the color, everything. I can't do this again to this one. I have to go back, sample it again, paint, take the paintbrush and brush over the second one and save. There's a very good uh, tutorial in the trainings, in training um, Word module one on how to do this. But for right now, I'm just clicking save. And that was step number seven. Let's do one more because the recording seems to be going really well. Um, going back to the instructions. And we just did step number seven. Step number eight feels pretty easy. Uh, bold the text Tuesday at noon um, after the five steps heading uh, to use some formatting, the same formatting as the other days and times. So Tuesdays at noon, see how Wednesday is bolded and Friday is bolded. They want Tuesdays at noon to also be bolded. So I will highlight B for bold under the home tab click and it's bold. Save. Uh, I'm going to stop this video and I'll see you in part three. We'll pick up from where we left off here.